All right, week one, God and creation. Big question of the day, what is the meaning of life? What is our purpose? Um, we discussed how as humans we naturally seek the truth, how it's ingrained in us, and how when we seek the truth, it will set us free, as John says in his gospel. Thank you for those words, John. Um, so answering, coming up with answers to these big questions that we have about life, um, we discussed ways to do that. We discussed doing so by faith, by reason, or by a combination of the two. Um, so we discussed how faith and reason, how those arguments alone, how they lack something, how they lack something valuable to the human life. Um, in reason alone, it lacks the ability of free will. And in faith alone, it lacks the ability to, of human reason. Um, and so we discussed how we need a combination of the two, or the according to the whole approach. Um, excuse me. We discussed how that they need to be in harmony of each other. Um, John Paul II puts it beautifully. Uh, he says, Faith and reason are like two wings on which the human spirit rises to the contemplation of truth. Um, so here you can see how they are they work together. They work as a relationship and how in doing so we can come about come to answers about these questions. Um, so thank you for that beautiful quote, JP2, as my Catholic friends would say. Nice nickname. Um, so going on from that, we discussed uh, creation accounts. Um, we discussed how ancient creation accounts, how man... Um, there's nothing special. He's like a tool or he's um, a byproduct in one account. Um, should read on that. That's very interesting. Um, uh, in one account, he's done so as a joke. So just no purpose, no meaning. But in, the God, in our God of Abraham creation account, God creates man in his own likeness and how valuable that is and how he does so out of love. Um, so this is just beautiful. And you can see how much love he has for us and that he creates us in his own likeness. Um, from then on, we went and discussed Genesis 1 and 2. Um, we discussed the creation accounts in the Bible in Genesis 1, how man comes after all the plants and all the waters and all the living creatures, and then how in Genesis 2, man is created from the dust and from the soil, um, and how there's no trees or nothing growing. Um, so we discussed the differences between those and how we are to interpret that. Um, then the last thing we discussed in class was the concept of the Holy Trinity, and an interesting thing about the Holy Trinity is it's not mentioned in the Bible anywhere. Um, but it is widely accepted by all Christians. So that is very interesting. And maybe that is part to do because the concept of the Holy Trinity is found in Scripture. Um, and as early as Gen Genesis 1-2, there is mention of the Trinity in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, so that is, I thought that was very, very valuable information to come across and in teaching that. Um, so that was kind of a summary um, so one thing that I easily understood with this week was the concept of faith and reason and the combination of the two. Um, so I drew this conclusion, and I don't know if it's the right conclusion or, or right way to draw this conclusion or not, but this is how I looked at it, was between the concept or the, the debate between faith and works, and how that is a big debate between Protestant and Catholics, it seems, and how you need a combination of the two. And while this makes a lot of sense to me, in answering big questions, you need a combination of faith and reason. And then in earning salvation, basically, you need faith and works and how it's harmony. You need harmony. Um, so that's how I understood it. Um, hope that helps people if you are having trouble with that. Um, this also is greatly outlined in C.S. Lewis's book, Mere Christianity. Uh, he talks about this in the first couple chapters. Um, so that's another great resource um, if having difficulties. Um, and then the thing I struggled with the most this week was the concept or the um, stories of creation in the Bible in Genesis 1 and 2 and how they appear very contradictory. Um, I'm very little a person and maybe that is why I have struggled with this. Um, and I know taking everything literally in the Bible can cause much harm as it has in human history. Um, but I don't want to get into much to that. Don't want to get into much about that. Um, but so yeah, that's something I struggle with, something I pray with. Um, and try and deal with. Um, so yeah, that is basically week one in a nutshell. Um, another, oh, a little bit tidbit to give you. Um, if you want a good book, our instructor recommended St. Francis de Sales' Introduction to the Devout Life um, about sanctification. Um, and so yeah, just a good book if you need to read. Um, I can't wait to get it. She's supposed to have copies for us for, for next week, so I'm excited about that. Um, it's well accepted between both Protestants and Catholics, as it was written right after the Reformation. So that's kind of an interesting tidbit about that. Um, published in 1609, I believe. Um, so with that, um, that's about all I have for this week. 
I'm going to put my email down in the footnotes, so you feel free to email me with any questions or any information you have uh, willing to provide. Um, so yeah, love one, love life, love all. Thanks for watching.